Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Bound by Flame. Now if you guys are new to the channel at all, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also guys, if you want to get caught up on this series, um, I'll leave a link in the card above to a full playlist as well as in the description. Um, so yeah, we are just going to be continuing straight on. So we started to kind of have a little bit of an explore of this new place that we've now got. Uh, and I kind of came into this bit and I went, oh, there's actually a weird manga creature. So we better actually stop the plan from, uh, well, I better kill them. So, um, yeah, we're kind of, in I'm kind of enjoying this game, actually. Um, there's bits of it that are definitely not up to scratch, but in general, it's okay. Um, you know, I've heard a lot of, like, bad reviews about it, but it's fine. I actually don't mind that it's a shorter kind of game either. You know, it feels like we're fair whack the way through the game now. Um, so that's fine by me. Oh god, right, okay. It's a fireball. Ah, interrupt my fireball. How dare you. It's weird hopping, wasn't it? Let's just kill this dude. Get rid of him. I don't know where the rest of our gang is. Oh, there's another one, is there? Okay, of course there is. Yeah, there's a smaller one at least. Uh, let's get rid of the big one first. Hopefully. Damn it. The slowness of the cold thing. I'm trying to kill as many things with the fireballs as possible. I mean, I do quite like them. It's just, um. Yeah, it's not quite the same. There we go. Big one's dead. Little one left, and then we've got some zombie that I saw in the background a minute ago. Get rid of these. There we go, that's that one. And then there's a zombie over there. But we can pick up these things first. Cool. Whoa, bat demon. That creep that creeped me right out. That was like right against the wall, it was really dark. <laughs> it totally creeped me out. But it looks like one of those what tormentors I think they're called. Oh, and we've got another one of these things. We've got another general grievous, that's what I'm gonna call it. At least the smaller ones are a lot easier to kill. Ugh, oh, right. That bad thing scared the hell out of me. It's so bad, you have no idea. <laughs> Just suddenly a plate appeared. Uh, there's a lot of like green and stuff around here. What's going on around this bit? Oh, we got one of these stupid guys. Seems to be with these ones. You just kick them. And then just like, your fast attack basically. I can't do that and they just ignore you. Come on. Hey, you down there. We're here. Come and help us. We can't hold on for too long. Where was that from? I couldn't see anybody at all. Okay. So I'm guessing this is a secondary quest. The store's blocked from the ah, other side. It's blocked, okay. I can't get in there. So it's going to be the other two sides then. It seems to have like sides to it, doesn't it? Right, cool. So let's go... Let's go up this side first. Oh, so this goes into Black Frost Domain. Okay. So it feels like we're getting near the end of, uh, end of the game then, definitely. Now look at this for a maze. <laughs> right, so we're going to try and do some of these secondary quests. It seems like there's just different different ways out. Um, yeah, it looks like we've got one of the general dudes over here. It's a shame I haven't got anybody with me. That's the only thing. Yeah, I would have liked one of my guys with me. Some backup, you know, on these dudes. But I'm guessing I'm supposed to find Mafras somewhere. Uh, that general guy is a lot tougher than they used to be. A lot, lot tougher. Like, really 
I am struggling with that. Right, well, I'm just going to run down here for the time being. Get some more health up. And actually, I just decided why not just go all the way down here instead. What is this thing? Oh, bat. Bat demon. Well, they don't look as scary now. But that's what I saw before, like, just in the dark. Oh, one of those. Wait. Let's kill the enemies we can kill first. You know, the quick ones. Anything to really, you know... Kind of get the amount of damage that they can do to me down. I don't know where the bat thing's gone. I think it's just kind of clipped into the wall properly. Uh, so it's a bit of a shame. Not that I expect to have anything cool on it, but you never know. Ooh. Yeah, but that general thing is just tough. There we go. Right. Whoa, so look at this thing. This looks crazy, doesn't it? Oh, bad guy. Well, I'll take them out. So I'm guessing that's going to be the entrance then to uh, Super Bad Guy's lair. Black Frost's lair. Done. Cool. Let's try and deal with them one at a time. Now I've got my slow attacks. Really slow attacks. Right. Fireball them. Not that I did anything, they blocked it. Right, okay. Super slow fireball. go, got them there. Okay, so this thing seems to spawn people, maybe? I don't know. Seems to, doesn't it? Well. So maybe we'll just get out of this bit. <laughs> as fast as we're going. Uh, what goes off into that room? Right, we'll go into that room if we can get there. Because uh, who knows what's in there. Might be some loot. Or nothing. This this feels like a little bit of a battleground, doesn't it? Okay. Oh, another general guy. Okay. Like I would just hide around here. The thing is, he's got three guys with him. It's a bit unfair, isn't it? Alright, well, we've got to take him out. At least I think we do. So slow. I'm dying. Gotta watch my health. Ooh. Gotta watch my health and try and run. Okay, good. That's one down. Here we go, nearly there now. Oh, it just takes ages to kill him. It's, all it is is just basically running around, letting your health get up, and then finally somehow being able to kill them. Um, that took absolutely ages. <laughs> it just takes so long. Right, let's go into the oh, makeshift camp. That's interesting. Let's go into there then. Ah, so we need to find the elf soldiers, so I'm hoping this helps us be the bit behind that wall that we were there before, or that door before, and that will, that will allow us a, like, a better way to get into the lower area at least. Alright, so let's remove the barricade from here. Let's open this up. I'm hoping we can see some soldiers Finally. in here. I know. Truth ah, is, I kicked all the dead walkers' asses weeks ago, but I need some time to work up the guts to let you out, knowing how you'd be bitching at me. Hmm. Good to see you, Vulcan. I was up the creek this time. Didn't want to tarnish the legend. Don't stay here. There's a camp not far away. But you're starving. I heard voices across the way there. Elves, I think. Also prisoners. I'll go have a look. Did you see any of our guys around? Yeah. There's one of those ugly women on four legs around. 
She got several of our guys. I was able to observe her. Great. A bit. Looks like she's avoiding those pillars that are around here. That may be something you can use if you feel like fighting her. And knowing you. A concubine, huh? Yeah, I won't let her get away from me. Good. More power. Smoker. Hmm, okay. Why is he not going then? Come on, guys. Get out of it. Just remove the barricade from that then. That's that one done. I should have one over here. I owe you my life, human. And more, actually. Don't worry about it. It's been happening to everyone lately. There's a camp a bit of the way up. You should go there while the coast is clear. Thank you. But... There are still some prisoners over there. I can't just leave and act as if I don't know what's in store for them. I took care of it. Everybody's free. You'll meet up with them back at the camp. Fantastic. Thanks again, soldier. Hope to see you at your camp. Good. Okay, cool. Oh, and we leveled up as well. Even better. God, this must have just been stinking. Horrible. Darn it, I died. Oh, I just got caught by these like free enemies. Um, annoyingly, don't know where we're gonna load from though. It's gonna be annoying. Not too far. So yeah, I was just over on here on the side trying to do the uh, side quest. So there's a bat thing, uh, a smaller one of the uh, general grievances, and um, one of the really annoying people who's got the shield and does the really fast attacks. And I actually think they're the worst out of all of these guys. Out of these three, it's just when you get back into a corner, when you get this like frozen thing, that's when you're in trouble, really. Uh, come on. I think she won't be too bad once I just attack through her. I know that I'm just like stood in front of her attacks, but I just need to get rid. Once she's gone, she can stop doing these stupid frozen attacks which mean I'm normal speed. Uh, we can find the bat thing, there he is. It's this dude. That dude is the one that I'm going to have trouble with, I think. Because he just attacks so fast. Fellow bats also attacking pretty fast. Let's run around here. There's not really much space around here, is there? Not really. Right, okay. Let's get rid of the bat. There we go. Now it's just this guy. Now we can get rid of him. So I'm not trying to figure out what's going on, but so he doesn't like kick, attack, 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 attack. There we go. Just the amount of health that these bad guys have is just crazy. Uh, I think that's the biggest thing with the combat in the game. They're just slightly up a little bit too much. Trying to break his guard and nothing happens. That too. That's really frustrating. Oh, so it looks like the guys are all the way over there, so it's like a whole other section. Wow. So this is a big, big map. Well, we're going to head over there, and we will free them. Energy behind this door is too strong. Oh, evil energy behind the door is too strong. Right. Well, that's where the guys are. So if I come all this way for no real reason, <laughs> that would really, that'd really suck. <laughs> oh, man. Well, we'll have a look around anyway. More of the bad guys. They're just everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. I know this is like the big bad guy thing. It'd be nice if I could clear out areas, you know? Yeah, same same trio of dudes. Right, I'm just running out. I'm just running through this thing. I'm going to try and find where we're supposed to be going. I'm guessing we can't go through that door until we aren't under attack. Is that going to be the same one? The evil energy yeah, behind same this thing. door is too strong. Okay. So that's the same thing. 
down here. It's going to be the exact same thing, isn't it? Oh, don't worry about me. I'm just running through. Just passing on by. There we go. Maybe this is the way that you're supposed to play the game. Um, because <laughs> you can't collect anything in there. But then, yeah, it does actually look like um, they actually stick to that area. So, yeah, okay, that's interesting, isn't it? Right, so if we go into here, where is our main quest then? It's all the way over on that side. So, yeah, we've explored quite a lot of, uh, quite a lot of this area. Is there a slip way through here? Yeah, there is. Uh, I'm just going to head over to that point then. Yeah, so there's Mafras and that concubine. Mathras? You're still alive? Are you trying to be funny? Of course I am. Though I did nearly have to change bodies. So here we are, a little closer to our goal. Of course, the next thing we must do is to find a way to dispose of Blackfart's wives. Blackfart's wives? Are you shocked? Black Frost's polygamy is probably a reflection of his megalomania, even though it was quite common in the past. The most powerful of them is called the Guardian. She is protecting the palace entry, and I fear she is invulnerable as long as her three sisters live. You must first face the Creator, the Stalker, and then the Watcher, if you are to have any chance of defeating her. I've already beaten one of them. I can kill the others. I don't doubt it. But this place is bathed in a kind of corruption that lends strength to these creatures. Is there a way of getting rid of it? Probably. There are still a few red scribes around. Stupid though they are, they may have some idea how to proceed. Did you know that before it became Black Fart's Folly, this place was originally a palace built by the elves, devoted entirely to theater and song? I don't think that's going to help me much. Alas, what a dull world it has become. You know, the acoustics in there are quite wonderful. You should give it a listen while you're killing the concubines. What do you know about these creatures? Well, I don't know them as intimately as I'd like, but I believe they are women who were chosen for their diverse talents. And our fine ice lord decided to transform them. He calls them his concubines, and they serve him faithfully in every way. The dream of many men, I presume. Okay. Right. So is he going to join us then? Mathras, do you have a moment? My dear, I have all of eternity. Yeah, actually, we haven't even found out who he is. Let's do that <laughs> and then end this episode. Who are you exactly? I am Mathras. Immortal and unique. Right. So why aren't you out there hanging out with your dead walker friends? First of all, I don't have any pals. I'm a little too old for that. Secondly, I find your implication that I am associated with them most unpleasant. I have nothing in common with those dead things. I've been around for over 6,000 years, and I'm still very much alive, thank you. I admit this body is looking a little worn. 6,000 years old? Hey. You don't look a day over 250. <laughs> you flatterer. I did, however, lose a toe this morning. Nonetheless, these dead walkers are simply corpses that are animated by magic. Whereas I am an immortal spirit who changes bodies when they wear out. There's absolutely no similarity. But that's awful. You steal bodies? Alas, voluntary donations are hard to come by. If you hear of any, do let me know. I'm on the lookout. But if it reassures your delicate sensibilities, I generally choose dead bodies. I want to ask you a couple of questions. Why are you still here? Well, you see, my dear, my curiosity knows no bounds. And you already know I'm immortal. I should think those two reasons would be enough to allow me to be present for the end of the world, though obviously it is my dearest wish that your little plan should succeed. Your capacity to resist the intrusion in your body of an extraordinary spirit is absolutely fascinating. Know that if the world is not totally destroyed in the next few hours, but that you should fall, I will personally ensure that your story is remembered. 
I don't know if I should thank you for that. This Black Frost, have you ever met him before? It's entirely possible. But if I did, he didn't go by that name in those days. You see, at that time, I found the company of any and all living creatures quite simply unbearable. I had decided to move to an area as far away from anyone else as possible. As the desert climate tends to wear out my bodies faster, I opted to move up to the great frozen north. I lived there peacefully in my modest palace for some years, until one day, a small group of people arrived. There were a dozen apprentice sorcerers who called themselves the White Lords. Believe me, in those days, Lord was about the last thing anyone would think of calling them. On reflection, I should have slain them on the spot for having disturbed my peace and stolen some books from my archives. But I was rather bored, and their thefts intrigued me, and so I followed them. I picked up their trail in a city a few towns along. There were quite a few of them at the time, and the locals seemed to like them well enough. Are you talking about the Ice Lords? Yes, of course. And though they weren't calling themselves that. I watched them for a while, but they were so ridiculous that I quickly grew bored of them. Clearly, managing to steal from my library had been the result of the merest stroke of luck. And Black Frost? Doubtless he was one of them. A talentless conjurer who imagined himself a great mage without having any of the abilities to go with the title. Of course, with the passing of time and using my research, they finally managed to achieve their goal. If they're still the gang of megalomaniacs that they were, then they are extremely dangerous. Did you know all along that Edwin was really the White Lady? Yes, even though I almost didn't recognize her with all that clothing on. You may not believe it, but when she was a young girl amongst the White Lords, she liked to stroll around nearly naked. How come you never said anything? Oh, please. It would be a shame to spoil the delightful humor of such a situation. I want to ask you a couple of questions. Cool. So, okay, we get a little bit more Talk of the to you later. info then about the, you know, what, white lords and all that kind of stuff. Oh, we've got elite soldier's helm as well. Whoops, I didn't want to switch into the stealth at all. Um, so, let's have a look at that as well. So, it looks like we're getting most of this elite soldier stuff. I actually quite like it as armor. Um, we should also probably... Also, that one you can't do anything with. That one's got a bonus. So you can't do it with the helmet. You can do it with the other stuff. Because I know that you can actually craft uh, extra stuff into it. If you wanted to. No. Um, which does actually change it. Which I thought was quite cool, actually. Uh, that you can then end up you know, tweaking your armor and things like that. I mean, that is that is very cool. Um, I'm just going to save it until the end. So that we've got all of the stuff for it. But there we go, guys. We've explored uh, whatever these grounds are called. I have absolutely no idea where we are, really. Um, not quite. Oh, well, Black Frost Domain, so we're in this great square at the minute. So we'll go and kill um, that thing. We can't even do this. We can't do the second quest at the minute, but that's fine. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And um, as always, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Later.